Hi, I'm Johannes of NewGadgets.de and in this video I'm going to have a look at the new Samsung 970 SSD that was just introduced today. We already reviewed the 960, its predecessor, and that was already a very fast SSD. But if you check the specs of the 970, Samsung increased the speed and also built in new features into this SSD and we're going to have a look at it now. Just like with the predecessor, there's an EVO and a PRO version of the SSD. In our test, we have the 970 EVO with one terabyte. This is more for the end user that wants to have a fast system but doesn't want to spend so much. If you have a performance system that has a lot of database access, for example, I would recommend the 970 PRO because that will have a lot of features for exactly these tasks. A new feature is the Phoenix controller that is built in here now and it will increase your speed up to 30% which is pretty cool. The predecessor got pretty warm so with the 970 SSD there is now the dynamic thermal guide that will protect the SSD from overheating. So it will decrease the speed if the temperature gets too high and you get full speed once the temperature is in the normal area again. For the SSDs you get 5 years of warranty or 1200 terabytes total by this written that is also an increase of 50%. Over here we have our test system. It's using the MSI Z250 Tomahawk. It has two M.2 ports. So let's build it in. As you can see, it's pretty easy. Just remove the screw, put in the SSD and screw it back. That's it. From the benchmark, we're using AS SSD and Crystal Disk Mark to get the speed of this SSD. We're using the AS SSD benchmark 2.0 and in the sequential reading we get 3031.71 megabytes per second and in the sequential writing we get 2459.30 megabytes per second. And in the crystal disk mark 5.1.2 we get a sequential reading speed of 3608 and a sequential writing speed of 2491 which is really really fast. So that was my review of the new Samsung 970 SSD. I really like that they reacted to the heat problem of the predecessor. So that is now no more problem. And with the 970 SSD we really get an extremely fast SSD again with higher total bytes written so you can use it longer. So that is pretty cool. The Samsung 970 SSD will be available starting in May. And if you have any questions about the SSD just leave me a comment down in the comment section below and I will try to answer it as soon as possible. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up over here on YouTube. And if you're into technology, make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget the bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos from all the cool products in the technology world. So thanks for watching and see you in my next video.